and we have Glenn Shorrock on the line right now. How are you, Glenn? Good morning. How are you? Hello. Good afternoon. It's the afternoon. Yes, we've just ticked can you over. Hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Now, I've got to explain to listeners, you're actually in Omarama right now. Yes, I am. I've been in New Zealand now for about 10 days, uh, touring around and doing uh, a, a bit of skiing, although I don't ski anymore. My wife skis and I sit in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> you're a deck skier. That's it. That's what, yeah. we, that's what we call it. Skier. Yeah, or you're a bar skier. That's right. The best kind. And so, Stop swearing at me. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how's, the, how's it been the last 10 days? What, what, what uh, you know, how's the movie going down with everyone? Well, it seems to be doing okay from what I've uh, heard from Sasha, who produced and directed it. Uh, it's been accepted very well most places that it's played in, uh, in Australia. I, I did the movie about, a, well, maybe two years ago now, maybe three years, and it's been in post-production for that long. Sasha's a very meticulous young uh, first-up director, uh, and he wanted it just, just so. Um, and it's, it's doing very well. I'm, I'm happy with the reaction. It's interesting because people are saying, Glenn, that your character as Duncan, you're so believable and you're such a natural actor that they wonder if there's this other side, <laughs> other side to you that people don't know about. Well, he's a bit of a grumpy old bugger, you know, I'm Duncan, and uh, I seem to fit that, that bill quite well. Um, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the my motivation is accidental because. Um, I've been suffering a bit of um, anxiety that uh, lately in my um, later years, and uh, I, I sort of channeled that a bit because, uh, and, and and it just looked like I'm very angry and very intense. But I really, I'm a little, um, I'm a little cherub, you know. You're a little softy. <laughs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> so I've got to ask you, Glenn. Uh, you know, like you said, you mentioned this anxiety. Is that? Do you think just uh, does that just come as part of the baggage of getting older, or is it is it because of what's happened to the world with the pandemic? Um, yeah, I I do care about the world, um, and um, but I don't think the pandemic triggered this. Uh, I think it's just a an anxiety level that that raises itself as you say as you get older you know i'm in my 70s now and um you know i'm i'm thinking more about things um and I, i'm i'm a bit of a philosophical driftwood uh, i've never been religious i've tried to be spiritual i've mm. tried meditation I, I still meditate a bit but um I, I'm not a um, a Bible basher. That's for sure. Mm. I'm um, I'm a long way a long way past that. I'm I'm a benevolent atheist, shall we say? Ah, interesting. But it's funny because some of some of your songs seem to have that spiritual feel to them. Good, that were meant to um, help us on its way. You know, that's about exploring your inner self. Cool change again, the same mm. thing. Mm. Um, yeah, um, so many paths up the mountain was a track on one of the albums, and that's um, a quote from a, a, an Indian guru. You know, there are so many paths up the mountain, but the view from the top is the same. That's and those, right. Those things, yeah, and those things ring true with me. So um, I'm glad people and, and yourself uh, are unlocking the key as well. Oh yeah, look, I grew up on on you guys. I mean, this is a treat to to speak with you today. I, I am a I am a fan, but I think a lot of people uh, that I work with have been excited about hearing your voice, and it is lovely to have you have you in the country. Have you actually? You would have toured here a fair bit, though, in the day, wouldn't you? Yeah, I've been coming in uh, coming over the ditch for all my life, all my career. That I first came here with a band called The Twilights 
uh, we had a, a number one hit here in um, Auckland and elsewhere with a song called Needle in a Haystack in 1965, 66. Yeah. And Radio Horaki brought us down uh, or across and we did a show in, uh, I can't remember the place, but it was like a nightclub, basement sort of place. Mm. And up the road, um, Max Merritt and the Meteors were playing. Yeah, I've been coming here and enjoying your country for a long time. And, well, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if I bought something here and, and settled again. Um, Sam Neal's a, a, not a close friend, but a friend of mine, and um, he's shown me what's, what can be done. He's a, he's a lovely chap. I, I just like your country. You know, it's great. That's lovely to hear. That's that's heartwarming and always makes a Kiwi feel good, Glenn. You know how to uh, you know how to charm us. Well, it's not just charm, you know. I believe it. I think um, when the shit hits the fan uh, again, uh, this is one of the best places to get away from it all. And mm. it's such a beautiful. I mean, I'm looking at these beautiful snow-capped mountains right right now, and on my way back to Queenstown. Uh, we're, we're leaving on Friday and um, I'll be back in Sydney then. Mm. Um, I don't know what to expect in Sydney. I haven't been there for a while. My football team is in the final, so I'll be looking <laughs> out for that. <laughs> who's, who's, your, who's your team? Uh, the Sydney Swans. Uh, the AFL. You know, the oh, right. Rules football. Yeah, oh. not, not the other football. I'm, yeah, right. I this mean, is the proper stuff. I know, I know. In New Zealand, we don't have any idea in this country what real football is, do we? Well, I won't mention anything at the moment. I won't mention Argentina. Oops, I mentioned it. <laughs> oh, what a shame. <laughs> yes, uh, it hasn't, hasn't been a particularly great winter on that front for us, uh, Glenn, actually. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, who knows? Uh uh, in a way, in a way, is the crown is the is the crown slipping a little bit? Uh, the crown's slipping a bit, but I think I think the thing is, it was kind of boring watching the All Blacks in the old days because they always um they always won. So I mean, this is coming from I don't really follow rugby, <laughs> but and people will kill me for this, but I think it's good that that other teams are showing their prowess and uh, and that we're not just you know uh, walkovers but i do hope yeah. i do hope they get their mojo back though because it has been a little sad yes <laughs> definitely <laughs> yeah let's get yeah, back i'm um, yeah. I, i'm not a, I, i'm not a mad sports fan well i i probably am and uh, uh compared with other people um but i i I've, I've been watching um recently the america not the america's cup but the Sail Grand Prix, it's called, mm. where it's a where um, New Zealand's involved, Australia and Canada, US, England, and they sail these crazy. Well, they they hardly call them yachts anymore. They're they're machines that skim along the surface of the water on on um, veins of plastic. Yeah, pretty much. It's incredible. <laughs> Very, very high speeds. And that sounds amazing. So you enjoy watching that? I do. It's very exciting. It's built for um, television. Oh, very yes. good. Yeah, too true. Now, let's get to the film, A Stitch in Time. So when, when you were approached by the director and writer, Sasha Haddon, uh, to, to play the role of, of the... Because you're a singer. And he, he said, when we interviewed him, he said, look, I couldn't just get someone who had no idea how to sing. So he said, I thought of Glenn Shorrock, you know, and he, he, he just felt that you would be perfect. Did you have any hesitation about taking the role? Uh, well, I looked at the script and um, talked about it, but I just wanted to be involved in the process of making a feature film. I've always uh, thought of myself as a bit of an actor, um, and I've done a couple of uh, guest spots on pretty ordinary, awful films, but um, you know, this gives me a chance to be, well, you know, the guy's a bit of a bugger, isn't he? I mean, he's, a, he's not exactly he's not the that most nice. cheerful chap either. <laughs> <No. the character. laughs> 
the character, I mean, not me. Um, so, yeah, I was very happy to be involved. Um, I didn't realise it was going to be uh, as well received as, as, as it has been. Um, I, I thought it was a, a, a good little film. I don't think it's a great little film, but uh, it's, it's certainly um, the audience have warmed to it. It's really, it's really good. Shows how much I, I know about critics. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're sounding like Duncan. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and working, well, isn't it lovely? Where's the bacon? <laughs> where's, where's the bloody bacon? <laughs> So Maggie Blinko, uh, a lovely woman and uh, so terrific. She's she's is she coming up eighty eight or something? Uh, how how fantastic is that? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, she's a lovely lovely person to work with, and uh, we had a nice time. Um, as I say, it's all um, it's all coming to fruition now. Mm. Uh, the hard work is all done, and the marketing is out there, and um, hopefully. Um, People will get to see it around Europe as well. I think it's got a European flavour to it. Yes, yeah. You know, England would, England, England would like it, I think. Mm. And places like Canada, perhaps. Mm. But, you know, not it's not a Hollywood-style movie. No. For sure. Well, it's not a blockbuster, but I love them more. I think it so suits some of the lovely little boutique cinemas that we have, particularly around the South Island, like Dorothy Brown's, where it's going to be screening, and uh, you would have seen some some great little uh, cinemas on on in the last ten days, I guess. Uh, well, I haven't been in the cinemas. I've been to the, on, on the ski slopes most of the time, and oh right, and in restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, and why wouldn't you? Why why the heck not? Because I mean, you worked hard, but it must be strange because you, you you put all this effort into a film, and then you're right, it takes so long for it actually to 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 you know to get released. So that must be odd waiting time, and it would would require some patience. Yeah, I I, I got on. Got on with what I usually do, you know. That's uh, singing in front of the band and um, and doing all the things that I used to do: singing the songs of Little River Band and new songs and old songs, and working with some great musicians. And I'd forgot about the film for a while, and, and it's only in the last uh, six months or so that it's uh, surfaced and the and the public see it for the first time. So. It's got a it's got a new new breath of wind, shall mm. we say? Um, you know, I'm thrilled for us all. You know, we all we all work hard on that film for no money, and just just for the experience of doing it. Uh, and and it's it shows, and it's a lovely lovely warm feeling. Hey, that's interesting. I didn't know it was unpaid. Uh, yeah, well, it is so far. <laughs> if it does well, you know, might change financially. Then I, yeah, I might invoice them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you must be a pretty comfortable man, a, an incredible, uh, incredible long career, and you're still singing. Uh, so, did 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 little, yeah, River, you yeah. know, what what are your what are your enduring memories of of say the seventies and that time with with uh, LRB in in Australia? Mm. Well, you know, LRB was the cap on, or the icing on the cake for a, a long career. Uh, I began in, in Adelaide when I was about 18 years of age. And at that time, I thought to myself, you know, I can do this and I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'd like to be doing it when I'm 50 and I'd like the respect of my peers. Right. Which is a rather grown-up thing for an 18-year-old to say. Extremely. And um, that, that that's happened, you know, I've, uh, big time. I've I'm, I'm 78 now. I hate saying the numbers because it's so frightening. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you probably but, don't you know, feel it. But the voice. Well, I do a bit, you know. I've I've, I've got to say, my my legs uh, my legs don't go where my brain wants to go. <laughs> the mind is willing, um, the flesh and, is uh, weak. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Oh, the flesh has always been weak. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm a lucky man. You know, I can still sing well, and I've got a body of work behind me, and I've got lots of fond memories. I've got lots of great friends, and uh, 
uh, unfortunately, a friend of mine has fallen ill, uh, John Farnham. I don't know whether you've... Oh, yes. That, We've been right, right across that. You've you been following it closely. I cannot believe what's happened to him. Oh. Terrible. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Especially, especially for the, the yeah. voice. You know, he, he's, he's our Olympic singer, I think. And, mm. um, you know, I lost Doug Parkinson. I've lost oh, uh, Jim Keyes from the Master's Apprentices. A lot of people have passed on. And, you know, I'm, I'm still rocking on. So mm. I'm very lucky. Mm. I, don't, I don't leap around the stage much anymore. I sit down and sing the songs rather than wiggle yeah. the hits. <laughs> Yeah, no, fair enough. And, and I mean, how, how wonderful. And why should you not keep doing that? I mean, there's so many artists in their 70s and 80s who are, who are still sometimes touring as well. Do you think you'd ever um, pop over here and do, do a few, you know, a few gigs? Yeah, well, I have done uh, about uh, five, uh, maybe eight years ago. I, I, I'd come over for a, uh, a short tour. I'd, a guy called Johnny Ellef um, from the North Island. He was a promoter that, that was a big fan of LRBs. And yeah, we you know we, we put ourselves into a, a Tarago and toured around a bit. That was fun. Mm. As I say, you know, I just love coming here, so I, I was very happy. And you know, um, New Zealand musically has been punching above its weight for as long as I can remember. You know, I remember back. We, uh, as I've said before, with Max Barrett and the Meteors, came over to Australia having made their name here. Um, I remember, uh, what's the guy? Oh, dear. Johnny Devlin. Oh, yes. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, from the 50s. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and of course, um, she don't mind, she don't mind him. Um, Ray, Ray Columbus. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, grew up a, on that one too. There's another... Well, well, yeah, There's we have. Senior, that, that's right. I, I must ask you Pardon? too. Margaret Ehrlich, um, sadly, passed away last week. Dreadful this was. She was only fifty-seven, and yeah. um, you know, she she had a lovely yeah. life in Australia, and uh, yeah, that was a that was a huge loss yeah. and really tragic. But yeah, we've had some we've had some beautiful uh, performers. I love Max uh, Max Merritt's um, "Slipping Away" is just a, the most beautiful song. Yeah, yeah. I just say you always. Um punch above your weight. Um, you know, the, the Maori influence is, is always strong. I remember Howard... Um, Morrison? Howard... Uh, somebody, Morrison? Uh, Howard Morrison, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. You say the word, uh, I'll, I'll fill it in. <laughs> good on you. <laughs> um, yeah, all those people, are, oh gosh, how to pie, bass players and whatever, I've, I've worked with... Um, a lot of Kiwis over the years who've come across the ditch. And um, as I say, maybe I'll come and do it again here. I'll have to find someone who can uh, promote it for me, eh? Well, true. It wouldn't be hard. And you know what? Maybe you'll end up buying a piece of land in central Otago so you can just um, tour, tour around here. You could have like a little extended, uh, you know, period here where you just did a few. I mean, it's not, I suppose it's not out of the question, is it? Yeah not out of the question at all and somewhere around Queenstown in that area I, I, I like very much but uh, this trip I, I've been all I've been up the uh, the coast road the west coast road mm -hmm. uh, through through the passes and the Han Hanmer Springs we were there beautiful a couple of days ago and then called in down at um, Akaroa lovely which is lovely yes yeah and yesterday we got down to Tekapo, and um, I'll be in um, Queenstown before you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a bit different to uh, to Hollywood, but no, it's it's got its own. It's just so beautiful at this time of year, and maybe, I mean, I don't know. There's meant to be a bit of snow. Hopefully, you get away, get back home before. But apparently, all this lovely balmy weather we're having is going to change again, which is just what it's like living in in the south of New Zealand. Yeah. But uh, but it is it is a beautiful place. And yeah. I think probably inspirational for someone like yourself who's a musician and, you know, are you finding that you're writing still as well, Glenn? 
No, I, am, I haven't written anything for quite a while now. Uh, I've written little ideas and things, but mm. um, I haven't finished a song in a long time. Um, I recorded an album called Rise Again mm. with a couple of tracks on it, but um, people just want to hear the, the old stuff, so <laughs> uh, I'll still keep doing it. Yeah, well, why why not? Hey, I wonder, would you mind hanging on while we played uh, Cool Change? Uh, yeah, that's okay. Is that you okay? To, and then you have to play all of it? Well, we could just play a... Well, tell you what, if you're short on time, we can keep going. Maybe we'll just play a weeny bit of it. You know, Jeff Baxter, Steely Dan, the Doobies. I mean, incredible um, pedigree. And plus, I mean, yourself, let's not forget, I don't want to call you a, a, a veteran... Or, or an elder statesman, because that's kind of a bit ageist. But, but I mean, you've earned you you know your cred, haven't you? <laughs> you know, you are, uh, you've you've done you've done the yards. Yeah. You know, had a Indeed, lot of success. I'm, I'm yeah. a lucky man. No, you're you're, I'm a, you're lucky a man. talented man. That's why uh, you've got to where you are, I guess. Yeah, thank you. Well, I, I've got to head on down the road, as they say. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> I've only be... just begun. That's all right. Uh-huh. I'll talk a wee bit more about your movie. I know you have to keep going, and you're heading to Queenstown now. No, that's okay. If you want, if you want to want a little bit more, I'm, I'm happy to talk, but you're always welcome to call, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm easily um, available for a bit of chat, whatever, and um, keep the fires burning in, um, in Kiwi land for me. That'd be great. Oh, 100%. So you're not you're not a prima donna, are you? I don't have to go through sort of 17 people to maybe request an interview and you're too busy. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, you, you're you a real, no, <laughs> a no, real I have, person. I have, new, I have a new wife and a new manager. They're both the same people. <laughs> oh, right. And, and then easily, we're easily contacted. <clears throat> yeah, well, this is... this Excuse is me, my, this, my, uh, Oh, your voice is going? <laughs> no, it's all right. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you probably do, right. do need to go to that cafe. Well, I tell you what, I'll keep yarning away about uh, the movie because I want to tell everyone, go see Stitch in Time. Glenn Shorrock as Duncan, a really, really brilliant role. And, hey, I've got to ask you before you go, would you do another one, another yeah. film? Sure. I'd like to do a... I'd like to do a comedy next time <laughs> uh, yeah but no I, 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 I enjoyed the process and um, who knows what Sasha's got up his sleeves and you never know you know the phones phones always rings and it's always something new and different slightly different to do that keeps you interested but um, were it to finish now I, I'd still be a happy man you know I'm, I'm very lucky Right, so you look back with pride and you're glad you did the film. And I, and I, I would say congratulations. I mean, not many people can just step up and uh, pull off a, a, an acting role uh, when it's, you know, relatively new to you. So, I mean, uh, good on you and uh, so lovely to talk with you and I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. Yes, I will, darling. Uh, nice to talk to you. Take care. Keep in touch. Will do, for sure. Thanks, I love you. That's the La Vista, baby. Okay. Ciao. Bye-bye. So it's Glenn Shorrock from Little River Band. Uh, fantastic guy. And he's in Stitch in Time, like I said. I wanted to ask him, well, actually, I suppose Cool Change was the the biggest song, really, uh, for him. Uh, like you said, it's uh, it, uh, it, was, uh, it was a great release for him and the band. And, uh, yeah.